when working on a Neo to integration suite migration, um, <clears throat> we hear a lot of customers that are looking to do a Neo to integration suite migration. One of the things that they are looking for is a way to rename the artifacts because in the old world, they had one naming convention. In now, <laughs> five years later, they have a new way of renaming objects. And if they need to do this manually, it is really a laborious task. This is why we have added uh, the capability to rename the object as a part of your native tree integration suite migration. So here we have the items in the new. We can select some iFlows. We can select rename uh, D1. So we'll just prefix it all with D1. And we can obviously do both the technical and the display name. Um, and we can see also in points, we can also rename those if we want to. We press save. So now we have saved this naming convention and changes for it. We will then select here, create a ticket for migration. We can, like we do with all our other transports, link it to a license request, etc. These are then being created as the tickets. And now we will create a transport that will move it from the integration suite to or from the in, new. We can go in and we can rename object. We can do it in batch um, as we have shown in the one of the previous video approval. All the things that is normal with the VGAF tool and then we'll do the synchronization. So now the iFlow has been imported and we can see it is imported successfully on the dev uh, integration system. Then we can go back here into to the overview and then we can start and select the iFlows again. That's a part of this. And we can then create the transport for the next step in our journey. This and then move it from the Neo to the integration suite. And now we'll just move it in the integration suite landscape. So this is our normal uh, DevOps process that you'll be using here to manage this. And this gives you a really good overview of what are the items that you have in the landscape, what's going on, and being able to, to rename the artifacts in a simple uh, manner, uh, handling externalized artifacts. All of these different things is handled with the setup. I hope that you want to check it out. If you're doing any kind of large Neo to integration suite migration, this is part that really will speed it up. There's obviously the ability to do testing. All of these things just makes the journey so much faster. I hope you liked this video. Please hit the like. Please hit the share um, and yeah, see you tomorrow.